In today's video, I am going to be doing an unboxing for you of my latest stand that I just received, and it is by Rat Stands, and this one is the Z3. I have been a very long time supporter of Rat Stands. I actually own two of their other stands. And then about a month ago, I got the iPad Pro and I realized they have a stand for iPads. So I thought that that would be great to get. So that's what this is here today and I can't wait to show it to you and see it myself actually. So let's, let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, so when we open it up, it's very well packaged. You can see right here. So what do we have? So there's a couple different things right here. I don't know what they are yet. I'll put them aside for later. Okay, so we have instructions here on how to assemble the stand. It looks pretty easy. These are some things that just need to go on the back of the stand. So that's great. Here, let's open it up. Here it is. Okay, let me set that aside. It's pretty, pretty easy. Pretty basic, you know? You don't have to have a lot. So all you have to do, this is very similar to the legs of their jazz stand that I have. I will be doing, by the way, another video of all three rat stands that I have. So you just do that. Super simple and easy. I'm gonna scoot back for this. So all you have to do is you put the legs here on the floor, like this, and then you just pull this up. Okay, great, so that's what it's going to look like. To move this, it's super, super simple. You just go like this, and voila. So I would probably want it a little bit further down like this, and now we need to attach this part of it. Okay, so <laughs> I made that a lot more complicated than it was, so let me just do a close-up here for you. It's actually very, very simple. So all you're going to have to do is there are two parts, and Right here, you just slide this in, right into here, and then it catches. And then you just slide this into here and it catches. It doesn't require any tools whatsoever in order to do the setup, which is actually really, really nice. And then the only thing you have to do to adjust it, is I'm gonna switch it around to the back, is you just go out or in, and you can adjust it exactly to your iPad. One thing that's really nice, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, is this right here is padded. It's kind of like a little foam. So it's not gonna scratch your iPad. So that's really, really nice. Okay, so let's try it out. This is, like I said, the iPad Pro. It can adjust though, no matter what iPad you have. This is with the case on. So let me make it a little bit wider. So this is what it looks like from the front. And as you can see, my iPad is going absolutely nowhere, which is great. It will fit whatever iPad that you have and or tablet. So that's really nice that you can just adjust it from the back and it will fit whatever you have. I hate taking the covers off of my phone or my iPad or anything like that. And so this is just really, really nice. And it's just simple. It's so basic. You don't have to have this really wide stand for an iPad. Another really great feature of this is you can actually put your tablet sideways if that's how you wanna use it. All you have to do is go like that. I mean, it couldn't be any easier doing this. And like the adjustments are so nice, you can release it very, very easily on the back like this and tighten it. And it literally, I'll put my hand just to be careful, but it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just really nice that it's just so sturdy and well-built and you can, you know, of course, uh, adjust the height, higher or lower. It's super portable, super easy to use, and very sturdy. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Like I had said earlier in the video, I am going to do another video where I show you all three rat stands that I own, their concert stand, their jazz stand, and I'll show this one again in case somebody didn't watch this video, which they should. Anyway, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you next time.